as we said at the beginning, no matter what we do and no matter how hard we try, the success or failure of this event is going to rest on your shoulders, and I think you've gone above and beyond the call. And each and every one of you are going to take something different from this, and rest assured that you left something here as well with each and every one of us. And if you have a video or a link or your notes or a picture or something that you took that you're willing to share, we're going to have a little uh, event share link here for you, simplerep.com forward slash event share, where you can share your stuff with us and the rest of the Simple Rep community. We would love to be able to tap into all of the experiences that you've had here. It would be amazing. We just, these last two days, some of you I know you were here one day, for those of you who were here at all, just for a moment, it's amazing. What we've experienced, what we've shared together, what we're starting to build, we wanted to appreciate and acknowledge and really let that set in for a little bit. So we're going to recap for you a little bit quick about what you just experienced. All right, we started out with, uh, you know, as we mentioned, with the, uh, the genesis of the, the event, it was only fitting to start out with Joshua, and he really set the tone for the rest of the, the weekend. And so, Joshua, could you stand up for a second there, please? Thank you. We only have one of our duo here, so he's going to get to have, you'll, you'll pass along, I'm sure, anything. But Kyle and Ariel, in terms of a workshop perspective, having them first talking about vulnerability, what's our identity, trust, their vital framework. I felt, no pun intended, that it was vital to have them open it up and get us to open up. So Kyle, thank you so much. And then we had Dave and Cheryl who came and, I mean, I know how tough it was to stand up and talk about, especially the point of stigma. And we, we kind of pushed them a little bit to do that. We knew it was difficult, but I mean, they knocked it out of the park. And every single one of us had something to add to that. And we just wouldn't have been able to pull it off if it wasn't for Dave and Cheryl just pulling it out of us too. So thank you so much. First Rev Talk, first ever Rev Talk, a lot of firsts here, was Jeff Sandquist talking about what fuels us, our fire inside. Apparently, that was a theme throughout the last of a couple of days. Jeff started it off, and Jeff, we really appreciate you being the first. And then Saul, oh my gosh, Saul, I was blown away by what you went through. Uh, I had no idea that most of those services even existed. And especially when you were talking about uh, intentional communities, and what, what was going through my mind at that time was, well, that's exactly what we're doing here. And I just thank you for leading us all through the, the options that we have in, in, in today's day and age. It's an absolutely amazing, so thank you so much. And then we'd turn the lights back on, but having those lights down low, starting off a workshop, taking those deep breaths, finishing the same way, I felt really good afterwards. I hope you did too. Dr. Steve Taubman, we are very appreciative of your workshop as well. Thank you. Brooks, my buddy. All right. I'm, I'm telling you, when the first time I ever met Brooks um, at Evernote, I was like, my gosh, I wish I could tap into this guy's brain. And his show is still one of our most downloaded shows on, and, on, on our podcast. And if we could all just tap into this paperlessness, I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing the secrets and especially setting up a resource page that for us. That's amazing. Thank you. Someone's getting double kudos, I guess. In addition to leading us and giving us a welcoming invitation, we also got a workshop on using your voice 
in the written word, but also in another way, podcasting videos, it all applies, but blogging, getting it out there and having somebody show us how you did it and where you've come in the six years was amazing. Thank you, Joshua. I never sing in public. <laughs> I know, and I've never hit bones together in public. <laughs> and as much as I love three by five cards, uh, I, it's an amazing way to organize your goals. And Vanessa kept hitting me and saying, tell, you know, to say what your goal is, say what your goal is. And I felt really, really uh, okay to do that, even though I'm not used to doing that because of your presentation, David. Thank you so much. And then our last rev talk, Mike Vardy. It's not just the distance that you came here. It's not just the fact that you were willing to get on board so early in our journey in building this. The content of your workshop, of course, but the content of you and your character and having you here just means a ton to us. Thank you so much. And then Patrick, I mean, it was intentional to make sure he kind of rounded us up there at the end. And, you know, with just three things. And probably the, the, the two that really hit most to me is asking up right up front, well, what does this solve? What does this do? And I really tap into that minimum effective dose, that number two one that you talked about. You know, what, what do I have to do to get this thing done? And where does it go? I live with that a lot every day. <laughs> so all three of those points, to wrap it up into three points was just amazing. And where does this go? Where does Simple Rev go in our lives? And I think he had us thinking about that, so thank you so much. All right. You know, every one of us has an impact we said it at the beginning, I just said it a minute ago, every one of us has something that we can do or that we can say to take this simplicity thing, this simplicity movement, whatever it is, out to somebody else. So there's got to be one person that maybe you have in your mind that maybe you would have a better tool now to, to approach the subject with them, to let simplicity into their lives. Whether it's through blogging, and getting the voice out there, whether it's just by leading by example. There's a way for you to take simplicity as a movement and take it forward into the world. And I think we got a great start going on here. It's been amazing. You know what we should do? For all the folks who haven't had an opportunity to stand and be acknowledged and to recognize your contribution, would you stand up for us, please? Had a lot, anyone a lot anyone who hasn't been up front here? Could you just Sal, stand up stand for us up. for a moment? Well, um, and not necessarily say anything, Sal. You're awesome at the Toastmaster thing. I know you'd rock it. <laughs> but for the folks who haven't been up here, up front, can you just stand up for a moment? Yeah. Let's give them a round of applause, too. That was the nicest way somebody told me to shut up. <laughs> We're not, we're not done because our volunteers and our partners, are, they're not just amazing and the stress reduction that they gave us, but what you've experienced, not just here, but on the Simple Rev website, uh, graphic design, what you see on social media, how we're capturing things, our strategy, utilizing the assets that we have are all the work of some amazing volunteers and we wanted to recognize them. We also wanted to tell you a little bit about what they've done for us, for you. The first one is Andrea Imsdahl. It was kind of impossible to put just a quick little label on here. I'm very literal, so I was gonna think, I put 30, 35 words and then I just ran out of space. I, social media queen of Facebook and Twitter, she is awesome at that. Dan and I, no, 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 not, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when it comes to the website, some of the pages that you've seen on SipRev.com are Andrea's work. Otherwise, just general, like, I got your back, Jack. You know, just knowing that she will support us and when we have a quest, even when it's not reasonable, she will not just entertain it, but often help. 
and suggest, not just be reactive, but be super proactive in terms of what she contributes. Andrea? Marty King, maybe you've seen her. Today she was wearing her St. Thomas purple. You don't have to applaud her, we can give her a mental tip of the cap, but Marty, I remember sitting in her office the first time about seven, eight months ago, just trying out some sites, what feels right, and after meeting with Marty and seeing St. Thomas, this institution of learning, it just felt so appropriate. And speaking of unreasonable requests, Marty actually told us in the walkthrough that I asked more questions <laughs> than anyone that she's ever done an external event with in her seven, seven years. years. <laughs> <laughs> but she handled it with a smile, and the resources that she was able to provide to us, changes on the fly, have been great. So again, no need to applaud Marty, but we'll make sure that we give her a tip. Awesome. <laughs> All right, and the folks from uh, Peak Team Design did so much. Uh, you, you said we're not all that great at social media. Well, we're not all that great at graphics. Either. Oh, my goodness. So Sarah Sheets, not with us today, but she did so much to do uh, for the website, for just even getting things together for the, the notepads and, and so forth. That's just not our skill. So what do you do? You, you look to somebody else to help you out. And she volunteered her effort and her talents to help get that done. So if you're looking for some graphic stuff, you might want to check out Peak yeah. Team Design. The Simple Rev logo, the Simple Rev declaration. Yep. Sarah Sheets. Awesome. Mm. Erica Backberg and Eric Nig. They came a little bit later to the game. Uh, of course, simplicity sometimes gets lumped in with sustainability and ecological footprint and environmental impact. and. I gotta be honest, it wasn't an afterthought, but it wasn't a primary focus of ours until they decided that they wanted to help us. And for the fact that you brought 400 compostable cups from Los Angeles for us. We were already you. gonna be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and everything that they've done, actually, why don't you show us what you've done? Could you? Well, we have uh, around 60 people. Uh, over two days, we've diverted nine bags of trash that would have gone to the landfill that will be recycling and composting, thanks to you guys. And this is all we'll be throwing away. One, if I can get it, one handful of trash. Yeah. yeah. I have to admit, this is the first event that I've been to like this that was that conscious of that. Has anybody else been to something like that? I mean, it's been amazing. We just want to thank you quickly all for bringing your awareness to it as well because I know there's a lot of guilt sometimes associated with it. It's trash and we don't think about it. So we really hope um, that if you have any questions again, but just thank you so much for participating in that effort because it means a lot to us and it means a lot to the earth not to be cliche. But um, it really does. So thank you. Mindy, she had to leave today some lame excuse about a wedding. Yeah. And, uh, but Mindy was absolutely awesome. She's going to be, she's responsible for some of the audio that hopefully we'll be able to develop. Um, she was uh, probably the one who met you downstairs when you got your name badge, most likely. She's been our, we call her rockin' ambassador and reporter. She's been doing an awful lot for us. I really wish she was here to give her a big hug. I was saving one extra hug for her. Mm -hmm. she, also, so, she also was at the airport at one o'clock this morning yeah. picking mm -hmm. Mike, and yeah. I, Mike and I up from the airport. So, oh. um, yeah. so another hat tip to Mindy. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. And uh, the, guy, the guy with the camera who's been taking all the awesome still pictures, Andrew Yelkin, again, we, we originally had someone else who was going to be doing photography, and that fell through. And Andrew was persistent over a number of months, and the fact that he's here, and we're so grateful for the fact that on very short notice, and not just were you willing to be here, but you were grateful to be here, and we cannot wait to see what's in that camera of yours. Thank you, Andrew. Speaking of cameras, things that we can't wait to see, that one over there, this one over here. Caleb, thank you 
Alex Cena has been our primary videographer, and the fact that you were willing to take time off of work. I know a lot of you took time off of work too, but as volunteers doing that, it's a big thing. And going around, setting yourself up, being in position to capture the footage as it occurred so that we can re-experience what we've just had in, in video with audio over the last couple of days is an amazing gift to us. So thank you very much. Chris and Sarah, I, you know, I, when did we first talk? A few months ago, and then we actually got to meet in Dallas. And the one thing that they said was, basically, tell us what you need. What can we do? You know, what needs to be done? And they were just absolutely amazing. And they, not, not only that, but they've been asking the tough questions throughout, putting things forward throughout. It was just an absolute pleasure to have you guys here. Thank can you. Can I add something real absolutely, quick? Absolutely, yeah. Every volunteer here has to have a high level of patience, mostly because they interact with me a little bit, <laughs> but with Dan too, and the late night Skype sessions, the idea generation, and just your willingness to contribute has been awesome too. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you both. <laughs> we have one more. The PowerPoint that you see here, Suze Stewart. PowerPoint princess. I had no idea we had a PowerPoint princess until we were almost done. And she said, Joel, I'm your PowerPoint princess. <laughs> so if you've appreciated anything, our minimal design that we have up here, we can thank Suze for that. We'll give, she's in West Virginia, so we'll give her a mental hat tip as well. <laughs>